McAllen Airport officials have looked at as many as 20 alternatives to meet new runway standards required by the Federal Aviation Administration. It involves having a designated runway safety area at the beginning and end of the runway to accommodate planes that undershoot or overshoot the runway. I think it's important that, you know, people understand that, that this is a safe airport and, and we are safe. We met the standards when the airport was built. The FAA changed the standards and now they're causing all the airports to come in compliance with the new standards that were put into effect in 2005. To comply with the new standards, a runway safety area study was conducted. And we looked at uh, 20 different alternatives. And we started out by looking at alternatives to say, okay, what can we do if we don't add any pavement, if we don't change anything? If we don't add any pavement, what can we do? And then we went all the way up to alternatives that, that are fairly expensive that if we added uh, what is called EMAS. EMAS is a high energy absorbing material proven effective in stopping planes that overrun the runway. The material crushes under the weight of the aircraft. Now the bottom line is if we don't do anything, if, if we decided we're not going to spend any money, we're not going to do anything, the FAA then would require us to relocate our thresholds. And instead of having an end of a runway here, we'd have to have an end of a runway somewhere down here. Instead of having an end of a runway here, it'd have to be in here somewhere. After looking at all their options, Airport Director Phil Brown and his team suggested two options that might be the best fit for McAllen International. One is uh, an alternative that uh, allows us basically to use what we have here, do declared distances, uh, and spend a couple million dollars. Uh, we lose a, a little bit of runway. Uh, we go down to, on the runway 31, 6,940 feet instead of uh, 7,120. On runway 13, we keep the 7,120 uh, 7, as far as takeoff distance available, but we lose a little bit on landing distance available. And that's a relatively inexpensive $1.3 million fix. The other alternative is a $10 million fix with more benefits for the airport. It includes installing EMAS. By putting what we call engineered material arresting system down here, we can actually, uh, in effect, increase the length of our runway. Because when you put that, it's called EMAS, when you put that EMAS down here, it's, it's concrete that when an airplane goes on it, it crushes and it'll sink in and it'll stop the airplane. And so by putting 300 foot of EMAS down here, it has the effect of acting like a thousand foot of uh, safety area. Essentially more runway translates to farther destinations for airlines. We like that alternative because it adds uh, three to 400 feet of effective runway on, on both uh, runway 13 and, and 31. Uh, it uh, allows us to uh, continue to uh, go after additional service, additional airlines, serving uh, uh, markets further away than Dallas and Houston and Las Vegas. I'm talking, you know, the Chicago, uh, Los Angeles. We, we actually have served Los Angeles from here, but it's, you know, more runway would make it a, an easier uh, trip. Denver. With approval by the McAllen City Commission, McAllen Airport officials will present the latter proposal to the FAA. I'm Ray Pedras and this is the McAllen Cable Network.